Hi boys and girls, we're back again with another book chat. My name is Miss Missy and I'm with Harris County Public Library and Lone Star College Sci Fair. And this is my son, Zach. And he is how old? Eight. And we were talking about that it's April. And what that means is April is also National Poetry Month. So we thought we'd try out some, um, some poetry books. And I brought him a book from my youth. It's called, do you remember what this one was called? A Light in the Attic. A Light in the Attic by Shel Silverstein. And we, did you like this one? Yeah, but. Okay, so um, A Light in the Attic. So you liked Shel Silverstein? Yeah. There's a lot of poems in I here, like weren't there? One. We, um, this one, we picked out one that was our one of our favorites. And this is our book here. It's um, it's called The Fancy Dive. The fanciest dive that ever was dove was done by Melissa of Coconut Grove. She bounced on the board and flew into the air with a twist of her head and a twirl of her hair. She did 34 jackknives, backflipped and spun, quadruple gainered and reached for the sun, and then somersaulted nine times and a quarter and looked down and saw that the pool had no water. No water. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? I oh. loved all of Shel Silverstein's poems when I was growing up and thought I would share it with him. And you liked it? Mm-hmm. Now, if I can only scrape together where the sidewalk ends, I don't have that one at home, but we are going to get. All right. Now, a more modern twist on some of our poetry is this one's called what no was No More Poems. No More Poems. And um and on the back. There is a typewriter. A typewriter. Um this no, is a newer one. It doesn't have quite as many poems as the other one does, but this has some very fun poetry. It has some great illustrations in it. Our favorite poem in here, we're not gonna read, um, but our absolute favorite one was Party karate. It's called My Secret Karate. This one was our favorite out of all of them. Yeah, but we're going to read three. We're going to read another one. We're going to read this one. It's called Hairs. 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 Nose hairs are gross hairs. We all know it's true. Ear hairs are weird hairs, but they're pretty gross too. But... When one long hair grows from a mole on your nose, man, I feel sorry for you. It was a silly, silly one. And I love these illustrations. Look at that. Hairs. Wow. So, Zach, would you tell people to read these books? Yeah. Yeah? So, we, we really liked it. This one was by Rhett Miller, and the art was by um, Dan Sendat. I feel, Sendet. I feel so. like... They really wanted me to read poems, so they wrote a poem on the back. They even wrote a poem on the back. Hold on, if you were gonna if you were gonna rate the books, um, how would you rate No More Poems? Five stars. Five stars. No more poems. A light in the attic. How would you rate this one? Zero five. Five. <laughs> Five stars too? No, actually, this one is 50, this one is 40. <laughs> this one's 50 and this one's 40. So you like this one better? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Is it because it was shorter? No? It's so funny. It's so funny. Well, um, so there you have it. So Zach says no more poems over A Light in the Attic, but I'm pretty sure that if I'm reading any of them... <laughs> he'll he'll go with anything. So, um, other than that, uh, Zach, hey, tell everybody bye, and we're gonna um, we'll see him again soon. Bye. <laughs> bye, guys. We'll see you soon.